I remember being greeted with a smile, a hug, a handshake, and um, I started the program in the third grade and I was a part of the first graduating class. So like throughout that experience, just having a sense of belonging and safety. My first memory is basically walking there every morning. Um, I would hear Mr. Brickhouse outside of a Chiba dream saying, smile, good morning, um, go right through those double doors. And then there would be a line of people shaking our hands and basically uh, walking us to the morning program where all the kids would meet. The hands-on from just the staff members, just building the personal relationships outside of the other schools just being a number. Miss Potts walking to the classroom teaching AP biology and I'm like here it is this teacher that reminds me a little bit of myself you know teaching advanced placement biology like in the science field so I was just like very impressed by that. I was able to build a lot of relationships and um, connect with a lot of staff um, and they kind of just took me under their wing and just provided support to me and not only me but my family as well. Um, all four of us, my siblings, went through the program and actually graduated. So not only did they provide support to us um, but also like my family um, and not just academically but just personally as well just helping navigate different experiences and things like that. I feel fulfilled. Um, I love being here. Um, feels like home. It's nothing but love when you come through the doors. Achieve a dream is nothing but love is all I feel. It's definitely like paying it forward too because when I get to speak in front of classes like Mr. Emblet, social rotation, I'm paying it forward because now I'm showing you who I am and who kind of built me to be who I am. As a student, you don't realize just how much work goes into all the things that we get, you know, it'd be field trips, you know, supplies that we get from the schools or just like these speakers that will come to the school to talk to us. You don't realize just how much work goes into it. And to be on this side of things, I, have, I now have a new sense of respect and just knowing just how much work goes into it, it really made all those moments even more, you know, impactful. I have my passion for kids and sports, so it goes hand in hand. So why not come back to the place that taught me to be the, you know, the person I am, the tennis player I am today? I think that the alumni success, it, it defines the program. I mean, it defines our success. They have defined success in ways that I would have never thought about when I was, you know, watching them come through the program. But now seeing the way that they create their own success or, or what success means for them and, and to see them have those, those goals and dreams and aspirations for their children, to me that, that is the success of the program. How lucky are we to have our own alumni back on our team and representing such a large portion of our team? I can't think of a greater blessing. It's confirmation uh, to what we all do. Um, the same education, social, academic, and moral. Many of our students go to school uh, in the service fields to become social workers or, or uh, psychology majors or teachers, and they want to give back to the program that helped them so much. And so that's just a confirmation of the love that they have for the program, the love they have for us. Um, and it's just a joy to see them as colleagues, but then also see them as moms and, you know, and dads and, and, and people that just want to give back to the, a program that they just love so much. When I first left here, um, I knew I wanted to be a role model in the community and wanted to change people's lives. It's definitely the best thing to have a Chief Dream on your side because they're, they're there for you. Families, moms, dad, parents, like, eh, I've heard it all, I've seen it all, and there's no limit to it. I feel like these teachers here was kind of like our family. Miss Greenland, the principal, everybody was like family. So it was like, it was always somebody telling you something um, positive and something that you're gonna need in life. Chief Dream opened my eyes to a whole nother level of just thinking. When I think of Achievable Dream, I think of opportunities and the chances that they've given me. Um, completing the circle as a dreamer, it has allowed me to come back and show the current students here um, that if they go to college, they're able to be a success story. They're able to um, be whatever they dream to be. No dream is too big, no dream is too small. You know, you put your mind to it, you work towards it, and 
it's, you know, it's bound to happen at, at some point. Being a part of, of the team, the actual day-to-day -day operations of an Achievable Dream is going to be a huge part of, of how we define the next 30 years. Who better than to know when to make a tweak here or make a tweak there, or this would really take our social curriculum to the next level than those who actually benefited, who, who embraced and are now walking definitions of, of what an achievable dream should be. Their input into, into the next 30 years can only make us better. I want the community to know that the dream is powerful. It's a powerful thing to be part of this program and to know just how many lives have been changed because of an achievable dream. Not only have they changed my life, they change, they're changing the lives of so many other kids. And it's such a beautiful thing to see and to know that I was once a student and having my life be changed by an achievable dream.